what is up guys welcome to this tutorial today we're gonna create um, a bookshelf app or a library app with Ruby on Rails um, so basically um, it's gonna be a simple app where we're gonna have a list of books we're gonna be able to add modify delete a book and we're gonna be able to update the book reading status um, we'll see how we'll do it either um, not started um, um, in progress and finished and maybe later we can do something uh, more precise about percents or something like that but yeah this will be the core of the application also as a bonus later uh, we can use scrapping to download data of the book from Amazon so yeah let's get started let me just add uh, reading add percents of reading okay so to create a new rails app I'm just gonna go with rails new um, the name of the app the bookshelf and we can we don't have to specify so uh, the the D parameter is for to specify the type of database we want to use we can either use um, SQLite or Postgres in Rails um, mainly there are also other databases I usually go with Postgres but it doesn't really matter much yeah so I think we're good Oops, uh, PostgreSQL, yeah. So it's creating the project, it's installing the dependencies, or rather the, how it's called in Rails, the gems. By the way, I'm using, our, I really love this app. It's called Brain FM. Um, it's perfect music for focus and work. So I'll leave it in the background. I'll let me know if it's something you like or not. Um, I can still have it in my, uh, in my ears without having it in the video, but I thought it would be interesting to have it in the video. All right, so now that the project and the folder has been created we named it bookshelf so we just change directory to bookshelf there you go <clears throat> as you can see here there is always already a git um, a repository that has been initialized but we will talk about this later uh, right now we just want to make sure that everyone is everything is running. So let's run Rails server. So the server is running on localhost 3000. So let's try that. All right. So we cannot find your database bookshelf development. That's pretty normal we actually have to create the database manually um, so let me open up the project in VS code right now I only have this uh, to-do list here but now that we've created the project uh, we can load it up in VS code there you go, so we have all the folders and all the files that have been created with the Rails new command. And uh, what we want to do, uh, yes, I trust the orders of this folder. We'll, uh, we'll update Visual Code later. Um, so I just want to have this actually. I want to have this somewhere in the project. Um, this is uh, let's not 
the most convenient. Wonder if I can do this. No, it's fine. Um, we'll just close this window and let's work on this one. Okay, so let's open up terminal again. Uh, let me put this in a new file. Great. We can keep this. And then, so we are in bookshelf now. And we opened uh, the RAIDS folder in our VS Code. And so we have different folders. We won't go through them now. Um, but what we want to look at is in the database folder. Uh, or rather, sorry, in the config folder, we have a file called database.yaml. This has been created with the Rails new command, right? I didn't add it myself. And let's remove the comments here. Um, so it's more readable. Okay, more comments. All right, and so in this file, you'll see we have four main keys, default development, test production, which are the four databases uh, that will be created when we will run the Rails DB create command. So Rails DB create looks into the database.yaml file and create the database um, appropriate for the environment we are in. And so right now we are in the development environment. And so this will create development database called bookshelf development, which is the one that was missing here, right? You will not find your database bookshelf development. All right, so let's create it. There you go, created database bookshelf development. And it also created database bookshelf test um, for testing purposes, but we won't cover uh, tests in this video. So I may talk about it another time. All right. So now that we have our database created, let's, let's run the server again. Rails server or Rails S, pretty much the same. Uh, let's load the page again and uh, yeah we can see that everything went fine the project is running correctly because we can have this uh, this page uh, this is a default page that comes from uh, rails when you create it all right so what we want to do is this right having a list of books being able to add modify delete a book being able to update the book reading status um, and so for that, so this is the high level uh, tasks, right? But if we want to um, be more precise, to have a list of books, we will need a book model. So this will create, uh, oh, actually that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's the autocomplete from uh, GitHub Autopilot, GitHub Copilot, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it was just the uh, names of the fields that we could use, title, author, description. Um, let me actually keep that. All right. And so, what's the book model? The book model. The book model is basically just. Um, gonna be the representation of the book table in our database so when i say that we have to create a book model i also mean that we have to create a, uh, a table in our database for books right so let me create that table in database let me write that right um also we will need a uh, book controller exactly and we will need views to see. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, we'll need views to see um, the books uh, and interact with them in our app. Uh, 
the controller will handle handle the logic and stuff and one thing is missing here which is the book routes exactly so this is what we need to be able to have a functional app right we need a model we need the controller we need the views and we need routes routes uh, will link the controllers to the views and the model will be um, responsible for um, pulling the data uh, of the books from the database or writing the data in the database and so yeah being able to add modify the leader book will be done here in these views and in the controller actions controller actions are always linked to the views but we'll talk about this later um, and yeah being able to update the book reading status will also be done in the edit view uh, so yeah we have pretty much everything we need I don't really have to have this here because it's actually more about everything uh, so let's get started with the model so how do we create a model in rails which also creates the table in the database well it's pretty simple rails generate model and the name of model so book and then afterwards the fields uh, that we want for the book so the title which will be so you can specify the um, the type of the field but if you don't specify anything it will by default be a string and so we need a title we need um, maybe an author and short description I guess it's not a bad idea put that here um our yeah the status so the reading status I would rather be more precise and say reading status um, author is gonna be a string but description is gonna be actually a long string which we call text in Ruby the reading status is gonna be one of three right for now it's gonna be either um, not started or uh, currently being read reading and like completed so to achieve this we could use a string um, we can use a string uh, to, to specify this but it's way more precise uh, to use what we call an enum and we'll explain that later but for now let's just say that the reading status is an integer so it's, it's gonna be either the value of one two or three uh, one being not read two being being read and three uh, completed uh, yeah I think it's gonna be enough for now um, yeah I don't need a comma here All right, um, so we can see that um, what has been created uh, is one file called uh, create books in database migrate. So this is the migration file. Also the model has been created and then um, some test files have been created. I could have skipped those files because we won't use them now. Um, but it's okay just so you know that that's usually what Rails does when you use the generators it creates um, some files for testing um, which are always good to um, have and it's always great to test your code um, but for the sake of simplicity this is not something I'll do now because it's something more advanced um, so yeah we can just ignore this part for now so we have the model, we can open up the model, book.rb, it's in app models, and it's simple file that has class book that is of type application rec record, um, and we have the migration file. So, so the migration file is the one that's going to specify um, the creation of the table in the database, 
So if we check our schema schema.org uh, or rather ski um, uh, we don't have one right now because we don't have any uh, tables in the database but we're gonna see soon um, that we're gonna have a, a schema file that's gonna be created and that is gonna represent our database uh, data uh, database yeah in the app and all the tables that have been created so let me go ahead and uh, tell Rays to create the table in the database by reading this file so to do that we have to use rails db migrate command and this will create the table the books table right so now we have a schema.rb file and this is uh, always a representation of your database so here we know that we have a table called books with those fields um, so those ones are the ones where we specified and those fields always come when you uh, create a rails uh, table uh, unless you specify that you don't need them but usually they're always uh, useful um, so these fields are created at and updated at uh, and yeah they just specify the time at which the rig the the record in the database has been created or updated um, so yeah now that we have our book model and our um, our table book table uh, we can go ahead and create uh, uh, new books right and for that we will need an interface and actually um, let me do uh, that uh, right now by creating uh, the views the controller um, yeah the views the controller and the routes um, one thing that's really cool with Rails is that I could use a command to create all those together. So the model that we just did, the routes, the views, the controller. But the thing is, uh, I think it's not very useful if you're just starting because you don't really understand what's 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 going on and like what Rails is creating uh, and what well, like what's the role of each thing. So right now I'm doing it manually, but I can show you later. Uh, either in this video or another one how to create everything at once so it may be useful for you in the future all right so now I want to have a controller um, so we want to be able to navigate to slash books and see our list of books um, right now wait, let me uh, turn the server on and let me have actually another terminal so we want to be able to go to slash books and ex access our list of books but right now obviously we didn't create anything for that so we have a routing error no root matches get books um so let's create the route right now uh, let's remove uh, all of this and just say get books to books index um i'll go through this later but uh just want to uh, show you that now we'll have a different error because we did create the route so it's not saying anymore that no there there is no route or no route matches slash books now we have um a different error that is saying uninitialized uninitialized constant books controller um, and so that means we have to create the books controller so I'll go to controllers I'll create a folder called books um, or actually I can create the books controller directly here books controller .rb and now we're gonna create books controller and this is gonna be um, of type application controller and yeah 
so let's see if Rails um, picked up on this uh, books controller that we just created. Yeah, it did. The, 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 the error is not the same. Now it's saying that the action index cannot be found for books controller. So it means that it did, found, it did find the books controller, uh, but it's missing the action index, uh, which is the action we want to use to access this URL. So let's create the index action here and let's see what changes. All right, so books controller index is missing a template. So we do have the controller and the index action, but there is no template. So what Rails is saying is that there is no view file or HTML file that's gonna say, that's gonna tell this page how to look like, how to behave. So we need to, to create a view for that. And so I'll create it here under the books folder. And in the books folder, I'm gonna create the index.html file dot erb file html dot erb file and the reason it's indexed is because simply the action name is indexed so it's gonna res is gonna map the view file with the action name with the name of the file and so yeah it with this it should work so let's just create uh, a text that says books or rather yeah, books is fine. And yeah, now we have our view that is loaded by our controller, the action index of our controller to our route. So we have all um, elements we need to uh, basically display a new file, right? Or display uh, a page. Great. Um, so what do we want to have in this page? Well, we want to have our list of books, right? Uh, but the thing is, we didn't create books uh, yet. So we can do this in two ways. We could create, we, we can create a, a new page for creating books and create the book and then show them here. But I want to complete this page first. I want to be able to display our books here. So I'm going to create our books in the console directly in the database. Uh, so this is how it will look like. It's Reds console. And so if I want to see all the books that exist in the database, I can just type in book.all and here the database returns an empty array which means that there is no uh, records of books in the database which is normal we didn't create one yet um so i'm gonna create one just here but first i want to write down the function rather the block that is gonna display all the books and for that um let me um yeah so let me just loop through all the books that we have in the database uh, so that will be book that all that um each and so this is the the um, each block syntax and for each book actually i don't think i need uh, we'll leave it like this for now okay and so for each book we will uh, display um, the book name or title we'll also display the author and the um, description and the reading status right so this should allow us to display 
each book in the database and display its fields for each one. Um, if I refresh now, okay, um, I have a small error here and I guess it is uh, that I'm missing the keyword do. Yes. Uh, also, we don't need to uh, use equal here because it's a loop, so we don't really need to display it. Equal is for displaying, and this field we need to display, so we'll use the equal here operator here. All right, so I have no errors, but I don't have any books, which is normal. So let's go and create a book in the database. So I'm going to say book.create. Um, title and um, let's so we'll have a title we'll have an author we'll have a description I actually leave the description empty for now and the reading status um, also I'll leave empty for now so let's say uh, $1 million offer. So this is a book I want to read soon by uh, Dan Hermosi. Right, let me check that sign. Dollar office by Alex Hermosi. Okay, which is uh, very famous on YouTube. Right. Um, so yeah, uh, so let me create this book. There you go, done. So the book has been created and it has an ID of one and uh, the title we gave it, one million dollar offers and the author is Alex Mosley. Um, so let's see if now that we've created that book, is it shown here? Yes, now we have the book here um and yeah um i'll i'll just add uh other books here with random names book two and author author two yeah um yeah it's not name Style. Here we had a yeah, error that name didn't exist for book, which is normal. The field name is title. Um, yeah, and I'll I'll have um, a proper list of books later in the app when we will be polishing the app. But right now, I just want to make sure we're uh, displaying um, every book that is in the database. Now this display obviously is not uh, is not the best, but we're not focusing on that for now. I will improve it a little bit though um, by t by writing here title author, and I'm gonna have some sort of separator here. It's very basic, but uh, at least um, at least we can have a proper distinction uh, for every record. All right, so I'm gonna stop here for this part um, and I'll record the next part. Um, we'll see, I'm not sure yet if it's gonna be one video tutorial uh, so maybe one long video tutorial or a series of tutorials um, Yeah, so maybe uh, see you on the next one or otherwise I'll just uh, cut this part